Hi, in this tutorial I am going to show you how to hack private data members for a Java class. In my last tutorial I show how to hack private data members for a C++ class with the liberty of pointers. In case of Java, although we don't have the scope to declare pointer, but we have java.lang.reflect package for this purpose. So let us try to understand this with this example. We have a class hack me here which is containing a private string hack data with some value and we have another class hacker here which is containing a public function hack now the hack now function is receiving one parameter hack object this hack object's private data we are going to hack first of all what we are doing here within this hack now hack now function we are trying to get the class instance for this hack object the class instance as we know that it contains all the meta information for a class to which this hack object belongs to now after getting the class instance of this hack object class what we are doing we are trying to get all the declared field list of that class declared field list means all the fields that is declared in that class not in the parent classes or so on now in this case since we are having only one declared field in the hack me class so the fields array here is going to contain only one element that means the size of this fields array is only one so after that what we are going to do what we are doing here actually is that we are iterating through the fields array to get the individual fields if they are actually in this case it's obviously one uh, after entering in this loop for each field in the fields array what we are doing first of all we are just trying to print the name for the field using this getter name get name method of the field class and then this is much more important if you need to access the private data member of a class you need to set the set accessible method you need to you need to pass true to this set accessible method otherwise it's going to throw illegal access exception in runtime only if you set this member true, if you set this method, uh, set this set this parameter true to this set accessible method, you are eligible to change or access the private data member of a class. This field is representing a particular private member of that class. Actually, here it is, the hack me class. Okay. So after that, what we are trying here. We are trying to get the value of that private data member. As you can see that this is a different class hacker than this hack me class. Our objective is to access the private data member of that hack me class from this very different class hacker. And we are achieving our goal here. Field.get and we are passing this hack object and it's going to return you the content of this hack data. That is hacking private is possible in Java. And it's going to return this obviously. And we are printing that with console using this print element method and after that this is amazing we are changing the content of that particular field which is a private one in a different class to hello now the value was something hacking private is possible in java now it is changed to hello and we can check it out by calling again the get method for the field value and you can see that it's going to return hello hello will be printed here instead of that previous value now the main is straightforward we are just creating object of hacker class we are just creating object here and we are just calling the hack now method passing the hack me object okay and it's going to do the trick uh, check it out uh, i can i can just run it for you just for the shape of a proof whether it is running correctly or not yes it will run correctly and it will give us this amazing feature field value previously it is hacking private is imp and private is possible in java and then it is changed to hello we are getting the changed value of that private member of hack me class that's all check it out thank you bye